What is going on YouTube? This is Acid Root. So I'm going to review the debut EP by Iggy Azalea. And basically this project is called Glory. And it came out in the summer of 2012. This is her second official project. The first one was Ignorant Art that came out in late 2011. And that had the hit single Pussy on there. She had another hit single around that time called Two Times, which was a cover version of Gucci Mane's Gucci Two Times. And then she dropped her third official project, which came out which came out after this one called Trap Gold in late 2012. So this one's kind of interesting just because it the fact of the matter is that this project has a lot of crossover appeal. And this is interesting kind of getting Iggy Azalea on this type stuff as early as like her second official project and the fact that this is free. So that's really kind of the concept here. This is on T.I.'s Grand Hustle label, has T.I. on here a couple times, and some Grand Hustle folks like B.O.B. and some of those type folks. But basically, this is more of like an electronica album, in my opinion, more so than like a hardcore rap kind of album. Like a lot of this has some crossover appeal, and it basically, like I feel like the concept of like this project is more hardcore than like Iggy Azalea's 2014 project, The New Classic, which that had some crossover hits like Black Widow and Fancy and Change Your Life. But this one is kind of like a lighter version of that. This is like the younger brother or the younger sister of that particular record. And it kind of was preemptive just because it came out a couple years before it. But just the fact that Iggy Azalea was at least aiming in the general direction of being able to kind of get some of these kind of crossover type records even on a free mixtape is pretty surprising a lot of this really feels like it could be something that you'd hear in shopping mall attire places like target places like uh this standard shopping mall shopping bops strip mall bops that type stuff it's just interesting to kind of get some of these and kind of hear like the lackadaisical kind of just work a day kind of feel of it and just makeshift kind of feel of some of these just because it's just interesting because this stuff is free I mean, it's just not every day that you'll hear free music that kind of feels like shopping mall music like the justin bieber type stuff so it's just interesting to kind of get that and I, I look at the concept of it like this is a pretty hit album has a number of singles on here and this is actually going to get a pretty rave score just because i enjoyed like the cuts on this project so it's been a while since I've touched base with Iggy Azalea, so I wanted to see some more of the projects that she had and see if some more of these were kind of hits. Like I said, this is like the younger sister, the younger brother of like the new classic, and I just kind of feel like it's the same kind of directive, just more in electronica sense. This just really feels like something that like Breathe Carolina or LMFAO would do just without all the gross kind of number one hook type feel of it, but it's pretty close. I mean, it's definitely in the neighboring community of like, pretty viral electronica and stuff so but the first single is murder business with ti and this one is basically like a real bouncy kind of glitzy dance club track and it definitely feels like you're getting tanked on this song it just has like really kind of bass heavy type stuff at the beginning of the verse and then it switches into like this really synth heavy kind of uh sprawling electronic kind of type stuff this really distorted type feel towards it this really feels like something of a pretty powerful dance club hit i really like the concept this is this feels like one that you'd really get tanked to this is kind of one where I iggy kind of let it let it loose and kind of you know took off and went fiery with it and that type of stuff i just would have to say this is kind of one that just has that kind of appeal towards it this is definitely one that i could see being a hit single despite the fact that it was free i just think that this is a concept that probably attracted a lot of attention ti did pretty nice on here this is not a song i would have expected him on so it's an, it's an interesting one to kind of see some of the stuff that he did past some of his super prime years getting him like in the 2010s ti where he was less chart heavy and stuff it's just interesting to kind of get that the second single was flash the second single was flash with mike posner and this one's just kind of a very blurry kind of song it just really feels like the the point of this song is just saying that you're trying to get to your girlfriend in the song and speed there as quickly as possible and just get there in a flash it's really kind of a blurry hookup kind of song this really feels like quick life and that type stuff this really kind of fast living in that type situation as far as that kind of goes it's just an easy kind of gotta get to her type stuff in, in terms of like a hookup kind of song but i do like the concept of it it's just kind of like you can kind of feel the tension in the song and that type of stuff as far as like 
getting ready to fuck and that type of stuff. So I just like the concept of it. It's got a pretty good hook from Mike Posner. I forget that he kind of does hooks like this. He's kind of a very low-key hook artist. He's not someone that every single folk messes with all the time, but I would have to say it's good kind of getting some of these. Like Ritz has messed with them and that type of stuff. But there's just more folks that need to. So both of these are pretty good hits. I just feel like that's kind of the concept about it. This one's just very low key. This is kind of one that you may not hear in every single tape deck when you're cruising around or something like that. But I just would have to say this is just Flash is definitely like a pretty nice kind of this low key kind of cut that has like that kind of unknown territory about it that just kind of gives it that edge as far as that kind of went but so to talk about the five songs out of six i recommend there's only one song i don't recommend and i'll talk about that one first it's just glory it just kind of has like a weak beat on here it's just kind of the, the most awkward one glory the title track just has like the pretty much the only true bad beat on this project this was kind of the most awkward one on here and just it didn't really have much appeal maybe it was trying to be a song like runway and me, myself, my money, but it just didn't quite have the edge of being able to do that. It, it really just came off as like the most homely song on here. It just didn't really fit in with the rest of the flashiness of this kind of album or this EP. So that's just pretty much the only dud. But the talk about the other three songs I appreciate and recommend to you apart from the two singles. I would say Millionaire Misfits is definitely... Millionaire Misfits is a floss song, definitely a nightclub highlight, very flashy. This one's a little bit more turned up, a little bit more of the money. It's kind of flashy, making it rain a little bit, some of those type moments, kind of stepping out. It's a little bit crazier than, well, it's, it's not more crazy, but it's just a later night one. I feel, like, I feel like Murder Business is kind of the crazier one. I feel like Murder Business is kind of the crazier one to kind of get fucked up to and that type of stuff. But I feel like Millionaire Misfits is the one that's later at night, just where the night's kind of getting more pronounced and that type of stuff i mean it has a pretty flashy beat on here but it's just a kind of pretty ready to go type dance just a pretty ready to go crunchy nightclub hit on here so that's just a nice one overall i just would have to say both of millionaire misfits and murder business are pretty rock solid one two punch on here so that's definitely kind of the thing to talk about that, that both these just hit pretty hard as far as like a night venue kind of sense and they are free so that's another thing Runway is kind of like shopping mall music. This is one that I feel like is very poppy. This one has the most crossover potential that I was talking about. And this one's just a real kind of promo music kind of tune. Definitely makeshifts. The closest thing that Iggy Azalea gets to makeshift on here that this kind of has like that blue collar kind of feel. But it's just kind of like day commute and kind of shopping music. Just kind of buying a couple shirts socks that type of stuff just stepping out in the light sense and kind of doing that sort of thing so i just look at the concept of it it just has that nice kind of overall appeal i do like that one it has a pretty good hook also i feel like this is just kind of one that just feels like a young money tune it just feels like the type of music that young money did with bedrock and that type of stuff this is definitely one that just continues that kind of fleshed out lifestyle songs like bedrock and other hits from young money like every girl and some of those and I would have to say that uh, Me, Myself, My Money is kind of another flashy promo cut. This one's promo like Runway, but it's just a little bit more stepping out. This one's not quite as much shopping and strip mall music. This one's kind of more of a light stepping out kind of joint, where it's just kind of more like maybe a light club would play this, but it's just not one that's really emphasized for Me, Myself, My Money. This kind of feels like a pretty... Uh, 2008-2009 Tayo Cruz and like me myself my money just kind of feels like a Tayo Cruz and Flo Rida kind of promo type joint that's just kind of a little bit flashy a little bit dressed to impress and kind of stepping out but it's just a very light version of that it's just kind of it's flashy but it just is kind of like a junior size version of that it's just kind of interesting kind of get those but I do like these promo cuts I do like to mess with some of those because it just Sometimes you need those stepping out kind of tunes, but this one's just a light sense of that. And Runway is kind of the more shopping mall version of that same concept. So you get two promo cuts, two dance club cuts, and then like a hookup song with Flash. So that's kind of the concept. So me liking five songs out of six on this EP, I'm going to go ahead and give this EP a nine out of ten. I really like this connected with me quite a bit, and it's quite quality. It's free on top of that. The singles hit real hard. The guests hit real hard. Pusha T did a nice job on Runway also. It's kind of a different song for him to be on just because he doesn't always have those crossover tunes. But yeah, it's just kind of interesting to kind of get some of these and just see that kind of concept of just something that's free 
and has like the appeal of stepping out and this has an overall avid social kind of feel towards it and this connects in a lot of ways and grounds this is the stuff that iggy was trying to cover she pulled off and it just happened to be a real fun record that just gave off like a lot of vibes about the kind of ins and outs of this commute and stuff that's the kind of thing the social score i'll give a 10 out of 10 just because of that the fact that five out of six of these hit and the only real dud was glory the title track i just feel like five out of six social cuts is pretty rock solid especially for a free project so this considering that this is kind of a mixtape it's an ep but it's kind of a mixtape just because it's free i look at the concept that for the most part getting something that quality yeah i'm going to give this ep a 10 out of 10 social so that's just kind of the thing about it in terms of the future like iggy azalea kind of claimed to retire for a while she dropped an album back in 2021 called the end of an era and then she disappeared for a while she didn't drop anything in 2022 at least i don't think she did and she hasn't dropped anything thus far in 2023, but I'm going to get to some more of these, but this is definitely something I recommend, I would have to say.